All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4, where we are playing as our own created Codabosian horde in the Cossacks update. And I'm going to die. Very, very painfully. Uzbek decided to declare war on me, just as I was about to declare war on Chagatai. And they're crushing me. Absolutely. Oh my god, we may actually win this battle. <gasps> we won. <laughs> Retreat to the capital for safety. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. We actually won that. Hmm. I'm actually quite surprised. Oh, God. I want to counterattack, but I just do not have the forces. Uh, God, we're not going to be able to build a new cavalry in time. Let us try anyways and try for some more infantry, too. I should probably actually try some mercenaries. I just thought about that as I clicked, though, but oh, boy. Oh boy. I wonder if I could peace out without losing a whole lot. Uh, white piece? Give you money? G give you money that... No, 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 you won't take anything, huh? Even if I go massively into debt? Oh, I'm demanding. <laughs> give you... Give you money? You like money, no? No? What are you even fighting for? What is this war about? <laughs> Didn't even think of looking at that. Take my province, of course. Of course. That's the only way I'm going to get out of this damn fight. Ah, oh, man. I am going to lose a province in this. Ha, ha, God. Okay, guys. We're screwed. <laughs> oh, boy. I actually may need to just take some mercenaries. Uh, isn't there something with the estates? Maybe get them up. Oh, no, I don't have... I can't raise hosts. How do we get that? Tribes loyalty is greater than 50. Tribes influence is greater than 50. Ah, so that's when we can have them construct cavalry for us. Damn. Damn. Okay, well, let's try and get back a little bit. Our new units are almost built. Then we'll head back in, try and retake our land. They actually moved away. Did they get into another war? No. No, they didn't. Damn. <laughs> Someone declare war on Uzbek, please. I, I need it badly. So badly. Kazan declared war on no, no guy. No. Bad Kazan. Fight Uzbek. Oh, maybe that's why they went back to fight rebels. I would be perfectly okay with that. Okay, okay. So we've gotten a slightly bigger army now. Let's combine them. Muscovy declared war on Novgorod, of course. Let's get back down here. Ah, uh, they got a two stack coming in. Yeah, I think the main army went to go take care of those rebels. And plus, when they did get defeated, they did have to go back into their territory to rebuild. And I'm... Gonna do something I don't like doing. Spending money for mercenaries. Oh! Oh, I can't. I don't have the money. Oh, well, we could buy some of them. Oh, God. We may need to take a loan. I may have to. Hmm. And no, guys, remember, we're a horde. So it's not for Cotabosia or for Cotabosian. It's for the horde. We're, we're going Warcraft on this thing. There we go. Oh, God, it's been years since I've played Warcraft. <laughs> I should see if I still have that CD lying around. And I'm talking a lot about, like, the old Warcraft games. Granted, I did also play World of Warcraft, though much more sparingly. Oh, hello. Recall our diplomat, sure. Goog declared war on Utsang. Urat has announced Chagatai as their new rival. Oh, are you no longer rivals with me? Oh, no, yeah, you are still rivals with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, Yaren crushed that other country that they went to war with. Okay, good to know, good to know. That's not good for me later. That means Oirat has a good ally. Okay. Oh god, guys. This is steeps, steps. How are you supposed to say that? Huh. All right, we should be able to take back this province. And then maybe step into their steps. 
<laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> Uh, at least we took back our province. Mongolia declared war on the Oirat. Oh, I'd love to join you in this, but you're screwed. Oh, actually, hmm, they may have picked the exact right moment. Ah, uh, Mongolia, I support your independence. Please be free. I love you. You could make for a good ally. Am I still? Hold on. Oh, oh, they're gone. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, am I still friends with that one country? Nope, they're, they no longer exist. Oh, God, they took them, too. Man, if I would have been able to jump in on that war, we would have been fine. But no, Uzbek decided to ruin it all. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God, am I in another war? Oh, because I supported their independence. I automatically got brought into the war. I am screwed. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, God. Um, how the hell are we going to handle this? Damn it, Mongolia. You chose a horrible time to declare independence. Oh, especially because I think Yaren jumped in on the fight. They did, and so did Korshin. You fool. Oh, my God. Korshin's big, too. Mongolia, you idiot! <laughs> Why would you do that? Why? Why? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take back my province and actually go help Mongolia because I think the rebels are keeping Uzbek busy enough. So, yeah, crap. Oh, boy. This is real bad, guys. I'm, like, seriously bad for us right now. Um... Oh, God, you know what? No, let's take one of their provinces as an insult and say, screw you. It's going to take me ages to get over to help Mongolia. Could I just, like, peace out with Mongolia? I mean, <laughs> no, no, one, no one really cares about Mongolia, right? Right, guys? Why did they declare independence? Why? Okay, we took a province. I'm gonna occupy this one too. Oh my god, Mongolia is slightly winning. They're not gonna hold that win for long though, considering up oh, the yep, up there's a giant Korshin stack. Ha ah, and Yaren is probably close behind. Oh god. Alright, I need to build more things. I got enough for another cavalry. I really don't have the manpower to do it though. We're gonna need to do nope, can't. Oh god, I really don't want to take mercenaries. I hate mercenaries, but we need to. We need the units. I'll hold off. I'll hold off, because right now I'm going to take territory from Uzbek as a big screw you, you bastards. Oh, look. They, they, they're they coming. They're coming. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get crushed in this one, too. Yep. Yep. Damn. How did they go from one war score to 14 in that one battle? Oh my freaking crap. And why is my military going into Mongolian territory? They're going to die. Yeah, we're screwed, guys. I think I made a big mistake coming into this area of the world. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, look at all that death. <laughs> Damn it, Mongolia, you fools! Oh, boy. Alright, oh, they've already occupied that place. Great, great, good, perfect. Oh, yay, and they're occupying my capital now. Yay. <laughs> Damn it, Mongolia. I blame you for this. I might have been able to hold back Uzbek, a very much larger, superior country to me. But now with all of this, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> God. Oh, uh, they have 24% war score now. Oh, yay, look. Giant stacks of enemies that are about to crush my entire army, killing it. 
Oh god, I need to move and run away. Uh And now the Chagatai have declared war on us. Okay, I don't think our country is going to survive, guys. What the? I have never had a game go like this. We're now getting killed on all three sides. There's nothing I can do about any of these wars. Uzbek was bigger than me. I might have been able to hold them off if Mongolia wouldn't have pulled us into their damn freedom. <laughs> Seriously, what in the hell was the AI thinking in that? They honestly thought that them plus me, while I'm at war, could hold off Korchin, Yaren, and Oirat. You idiots. I hate you, Mongolia, so much. So yeah, there, there's nothing we can do. Our country is going to become tiny now. It's going to get split up into, uh, between Chagatai and Uzbek. I don't think we're going to lose any... Well, we might lose a province or two to the Oirat as well. We very well end up with this war being a two-province minor. Quite frankly. Which isn't good. Um, Gain manpower, that's what we need right now. I mean, we can't do anything with that manpower at the moment. Oh, God. Oh, yay, no, they're attacking me. Oh, lovely. Uh, Mongolia! Oh, yay. Chagatai! <laughs> there. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed, guys. We're screwed. There is literally no way out of this war for us. No, we're not gonna run away in time. I was hoping maybe I could run away my troops and just keep them alive. But now we're going to get stuck in. Eh, what the hell? We'll jump in on this battle just for fun. No, oh, no, they're running now. Yeah, I blame Mongolia for all of this. All of it. <laughs> oh my god, they have a two-star general. Why did I do this? <laughs> we're actually winning, though, which is amusing. But we won't win the war. Which is depressing. Very, very dep Oh, we actually did lose that. I thought we were winning. Well, damn. Well. Maybe we'll start another game. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there goes the siege of our capital. Yep. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> no, guys. Don't hail Kotobos or the Great Khan Kotobos. We're getting killed here. We're getting murdered. I'm going to lose so much territory in this. I have no idea if it is even possible for us to come back from. I was just like the worst, absolute worst circumstances we could possibly have. We get declared on by a country twice our size, then get pulled into a freedom fight for Mongolia against three countries, which are roughly our size, and then Chagatai also jumps in. <laughs> oh god, our country is almost entirely dead. So dead. Uh, you know, take back the manpower. I'm gonna need it to rebuild after all of this is done. And we lost, and there goes our army. Peace offer from Uzbek. Uh, we'll be forced to pay us uh, money. We don't lose land, though. So war reparations, 92 du or 98 ducats, rather. Huh, you know what? I gotta accept it. There's nothing I can do. Oh, no, they did take that province. I did not see that in the deal. Oh, God, they took more than that province, too. They took two. Yeah, we're screwed, guys. We're screwed. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look, we have a uh, cast a spell eye against Uzbek. We have taken a loan. Chagtai have occupied another province. There's the peace deal from the Oirat. We have no other uh, way of getting out of this but to accept. And there goes our capital, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, uh, military access from Yaren. Oh, we are, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead, guys. We're dead. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I have never... Actually, I've never died in this game. 
I have never died in this game. I blame Mongolia for everything. Wow. Wow. Okay, so yeah. Attempt two at trying to make the Kotobosian Empire work. Or the Kotobosian Horde, rather. So um, we're going to try to do the same thing with Caradel. Uh, we'll send... Improve relations. Screw Mongolia this time. I'm going to make friends with Ming. <laughs> and I'm going to improve relations with Uzbek. <laughs> is that, that war with Uzbek is what killed us. As they were just so much larger than us, we had no physical way of fighting against them. Which is just uh, uh, horrible. Well, I'm going to take the same uh, enemies because they're the only rivals we can take. Of course. And let's build two new cavalry. I still can't believe that. That is the first time I've ever lost a game in EU4. Ever. E even when I was just starting out and decided stupidly to go play as the Aztecs. I've never lost a game. We're not helping Mongolia this time. You're on your own, Mongolia. Screw you. Screw you to hell. <laughs> go to speed three. Okay. Okay. You know what, I also am just going to go and accept Sunni as our alternate religion, because it'll be good for us, I think. Because, um, well, it means that other countries may not hate us. Alliance with Caradel, I will take that. Mongolia, screw you. <laughs> Seriously, screw you. You're on your own. I'm not falling for that trap again. I was so hopeful, too, that maybe... Just maybe we'd be able to, you know, make friends with Mongolia. But no, they had to screw us over, guys. All right, what else can we get? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum -bum -bum. So we could try to take this province again. Where's Zazik? I mean, it's obviously... Whoa, it's them. It's the Urat. Hmm. They have no allies. They have Mongolia as a vassal, so they'll fight. I'll go for this one. Or protect against the Chagatai. Have an army of eight. We'll take that one first. Because that'll pop immediately after we get our troops built. Yay! We got it! <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, then another mission. Accumulate money. Oh, uh, I want to. But no, we're going to take this one for now. Yeah, because I want to try and attack them early. Get some power projection out there, I think would be a good thing, question mark? Huh, maybe I should accumulate money. No, no, we're a horde, we must fight. We must fight. There we go. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm so mad at you, Mongolia. So very mad at you. <laughs> Oh my god, I still can't believe that. Not only is that the first time ever that I've failed in this game. Well, I've quit games before. Yes, that has happened, of course. But I've never actually lost a game. And not only that, but that was so quick. That was, what, 30 damn minutes? <laughs> Uzbek, be friends with us. Why are you still going up? Why do you hate me? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Aha! Chagatai have declared that war. Oh, God, everything's playing out exactly as it did before. It means Uzbek may attack us soon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> and, yes, screen, you are right. It's been the 20-minute mark. So, um, yes, if you're watching on the stream, just keep on watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can come back, uh, on, oh god, the next one will be on Tuesday, after the fact, and, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully you all have enjoyed my pitiful rumblings in this game thus far, oh boy, oh boy, later folks!